day viewers, T Roy here. Welcome back to my Bush Tucker garden and a cold one. Ah. Well, viewers, today we're going to have some T Roy's tips on how to keep it moist. Well, the soil anyway. And the perfect beer that I found recently is a bit, little beer out of Canberra. Like, there's not much coming good out of Canberra, but this beer's not bad, eh? Bent Spoke Brewing Co. And what a name, Crankshaft. How good is that? Oh, it's a strong ale. It won't be any good for any of you lager soft <laughs> It's 5.8%, very citrusy, tastes a little bit of pine. It lacks bubbles. That's the problem here. Yep, really needs some more carbonation, but has got some really strong flavours. I'm going to have to give this one a, a 3.5 out of 5. Cheers. So viewers, if you've got shit soil like I have and you live in the harsh Queensland weather, you're going to need to keep your plants moist. And the best way to do that is get some of this stuff here. It's a peat block. All right. So you rip it open, you put it in about three quarters of a bucket of water, let it soak. You also need some of these little crystals here, but before you put them in the soil, put them in some water and activate them. Because this little, little stuff goes together with the peat, moss and a bit of compost and we'll put it all together later when we're pre preparing the soil. There you have it viewers, your activated water crystals and your activated peat. Not too dry, not too soggy, but moist, just how you like it. Now let's be honest with you, you don't like it dry and neither does your plant. If you look at that picture down there, or up there, or down there, I don't know where it's going to be, you'll notice that this is the blue tongue from a couple of weeks ago that I said was looking really sad. But guess what? It finally died. Sorry about that, my speaker fell off. So anyway, we'll dig this bugger up. Yeah, not real good there. This is one of the few plants where I didn't add the old peat moss. A bit of soil. As if all your plants, give it a little bit of a tease. This is a little blue tongue seedling I picked up earlier today. I'll get some of the soil off the old dead one here. I'll even use the old, mar the old marker. Sweet as. As for the crankshaft, not a bad drop, but you couldn't drink it all night. Then I'll give that a bit of a hit with the water. And like I've got to do with everything around here. I'll have to whack a cage around it. Now let's move on to my orange lime plant. Check this soil out. Look at it. It's dust. It's crap. That's why I've got to do soil preparation. And that's why I like the moisture and other ingredients. So basically I've got to get this in here. This stuff lasts up to five to six years before it gets broken down. By then your plant's fully established and you won't have to worry too much about it. So get some of that gear in there. Some of that, that's nutrients. Five and one and all that sort of gear. This is a little orange berry native to southeast, well, central Queensland. 
that I got a few weeks ago. So I'll put all that in there. I'll backfill it up with the mulch that I've laid around. And then I'll give it a good hose and later. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. If you're on YouTube, smash up the likes. Hit the bell for notifications. Enjoy your beers. <sighs> Thanks for watching. And remember, drink and garden responsibly. See you next time. Cheers.